Folks, it's hard time once again. That sound like a redneck today. I'm gonna be myself. But today we're gonna talk about. Well, let me get a little close for so my uh, my voice goes with the video. Okay, I'm sure everybody's heard about this guy. He makes some really good horror movies. His name is Neil Marshall. He has made some great horror movies over the past couple of years. Here we go. First movie he made was Dog Soldiers. Really, really good movie with werewolves. There's the cover. I think the cover looks very good. You see the werewolves? They all look, they look badass. But this is a really good uh, werewolf movie. I think it was a sci-fi original. I think it's one of the better sci-fi channel originals. Because most of the sci-fi originals are shit. I mean, if you've seen Lake Placid 2, you know what I mean. That movie is crap. And there's Boa versus Python and all this other crap. Dino Croc, which was a croc of sh you know what. But uh, this one was really good. I liked it. It's about these uh, military guys that go on an island. There's all these werewolves attacking them. It has a nice little twist near the end, too. But uh, You can see the one of the werewolves on the back there. There's supposed to be a sequel to this movie. Dog Soldiers 2 Dead Meat or something. But uh, it never came out. I don't know why. I'd really like to see that movie, too. I mean, I don't care if it's not by Neil Marshall. I just I want to see the sequel. But uh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen because uh, it's... Well, if you go to the website imdb.com, type in Dog Soldiers 2, you can read about it, but I don't think it's even in post-production or anything. I don't, even, I don't even think it's being made. I don't know. But uh, I really wish they'd make it because the first one was great. The werewolves looked really good. It was really gory. had some really funny, funny uh, lines in the movie. The characters say some really funny things. Like One guy said something like, if a little red rod head would show up at the door, I was just trying to shoot him to... Something like that. I can't remember what he said. He said something about Little Red Riding Hood and a bazooka. That's that's all I remember. It was funny, though. But a really, really good werewolf movie. One of the better werewolf movies that's been out in the past couple of years. Uh, this came out in, uh, I believe, 2002. But uh, I really like this werewolf movie. Really good. Another good one is uh, the Ginger Snaps movies. Those are good werewolf movies. Those are pretty much the only good werewolf movies I've seen probably in the past couple of years. Cursed, Wes Craven's Curse was really disappointing. Even the unrated version was disappointing. But uh, the new the new Wolfman movie coming out looks good. I saw the trailer the other day. Wow, looks really, really good. I hope it'll be good. You got, you got Anthony Hopkins. He's a great actor. He's going to be in it. And a whole bunch of other people. And I, The trailer looked great. But uh, I'm looking forward to the Wolfman movie. I'm hoping it'll be good. But uh, if you're waiting for a uh, the Wolfman movie. Here's a good movie to check out definitely before you see The Wolfman. Really, really good werewolf movie. And uh, here is another DVD of Dog Soldiers. It's exactly the same, except the cover looks horrible. I mean, look at the cover. It looks like crap. The other cover is better. And it's the same back as the, as the last DVD, but the cover just looks like crap. Somebody gave me this DVD because they, they thought I didn't have the movie, but I've got the movie. So now i got two copies of the movie. Maybe I'll give a copy to somebody one day or sell it or something. I don't know, but i got two copies. Another really good one by Neil Marshall is The Descent. I remember when this came out in theaters. Wow. It was packed. The theater was packed. And this was a really, really spooky movie. Really dark movie. You can't see crap in the movie because it's all dark. They're down in the caves. But wow, the vampires or monsters, or whatever you want to call them. My sister calls them monsters. I think they're vampires. Kind of like vampire-looking deformed people, I guess. I don't. I really don't know what they are. But uh, when these, when all the girls go down the cave, they're exploring, and then they come across all these weird-looking creatures or vampires, whatever you want to call them. But uh, first they think they're seeing things, because the mind plays tricks on you when you're in the dark. But it turns out... Uh, all their friends and are getting killed by these monsters or vampires or whatever. And uh, and then the one girl, the main character, finds out one of her friends was cheating on uh, cheating on her with her husband. And uh, she just lost her husband and her daughter in a car wreck at the beginning of the movie. And it has a nice little twist near the end of the movie. And uh, I didn't, the only thing I didn't like about this movie was the ending. I hated the American ending. It was just, it made no sense. It, it was, it just really didn't make sense. But the UK ending, I love the UK ending. That is much better way to end the movie. But the ending with the UK, it just, it made more sense. 
But I don't want to spoil it. But uh, I like the UK ending better than the American ending. It's just all around better ending. And they're actually coming out with a sequel to this movie, The Descent 2. I'm definitely going to check that one out. Uh, not sure when it's coming out on DVD, but I saw the trailer on YouTube. It looks, it looks pretty good. It's got uh, some of the same characters from uh, this movie. So uh, it's not by Neil Marshall, though. But uh, hopefully hopefully it'll be good. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But uh, definitely check this out if you like movies where people go down in caves and monsters and all that. Really good. Great uh, special effects, too, and good-looking monsters. And another good one by Neil Marshall is Doomsday. This is one of the uh, better cannibal movies I've seen in the past couple of years. It didn't it didn't really do great in theaters. I remember my theater they didn't even have it very long. It, it was gone in like in less than two weeks. But uh, I bought it when it came out on DVD. I had a lot of fun watching it. I thought it was great. But uh really good looking cannibals and it was really glorious there's one scene with the cannibals they have like this big this big bash and they have a dinner and they cook this guy Ooh, that was nasty it's got some uh, really gory bits too near the end of the movie i like the whole racing in the cars near the end of the movie that was great good explosions but uh, wow this is really really cool movie really fun movie it's got the same girl that plays in uh, underworld rise of the lichens can't think of her name, but she's the one that played uh, Victor's daughter, the, the vampire girl. But uh, she plays in this one. She also played in that one movie with the werewolves. What's it called? Skinwalkers. That's it. She played in that movie. And she played in this movie and uh, Underworld Rise of Lichens. But this is a really good movie. Really fun to watch. You definitely want to see the uh, unrated version. I think it's better than the theatrical. But both versions are good, but the unrated has a little more to it. It's actually a couple minutes longer. But a really, really good movie. Definitely check out Neil Marshall's movies. He's a great director. Can't wait for his next movies. Very good director. Definitely check him out. Well, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>